Good evening, everybody. It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. Uh, quick video, and apologies for not having a, a new video up this week. I've been dealing with wideband noise that's wiping me out from from the bottom of the band all the way up to 160 megahertz. And when I mean wiping me out, I mean it's really wiping me out. I have complaints into my local power authority here, which is Florida Power and Lighting. Uh, I believe I pinpointed the source of noise to... Uh, a block of transformers so tomorrow we have text coming to my QTH uh, to see if my pinpoint is correct and to see what they can do about it but in the meantime it's really put a damper on me listening to the bands and I completely forgot about SDR Uno's uh, noise blanking function and let me stop talking let me let you guys hear this noise let me go to the bottom of the band let me lower the gain let me put myself in zero IF mode and you can see it and you can hear it. Okay, I'm at the bottom of the band and I'm right above the medium wave band and you can see this noise and it's making the spectrum bounce up and down and if I change the averaging, the FFT averaging, you're gonna see it go wild. So to mitigate this, you know, the spectrum, I can increase the FFT averaging, but it's not going to make the noise go away. The noise is there. So SDR Uno has a, uh, a narrow, a narrow band noise blanker and a, and a wide band noise blanker. And I forgot about these options. I actually did two videos on these, one for signals across the pond and one for our own channel for the actual SDR play YouTube channel. And I want to show you how effective this is at eliminating wideband noise. Now, it's not a one setting fits all. It might not work for you. It seems to be working really well for me so far, but let me let me put this back to FFT averaging a three, which is the default. Let me unmute this and I'm gonna show you. The option is within the RX control panel and you have two options, narrow and wide. And you make the adjustment within the EX control panel under the NB slider. And the default value is 190. And I'm going to put it back to the default. Let me just go up the band a little bit so you can really see. This really wipes me out. And I, I have the gain at minimal gain. Now I'm going to increase the gain. Where I usually like to keep it for this loop. And I'm going to enable the medium wave, or not the medium wave, I'm going to enable the uh, wideband noise blanker. And basically what you have to do is you have to try to find the sweet spot between allowing the wanted signal through while it's uh, diminishing the noise and for me it seems to be in the 176 to 180 area if I go uh, and make it any lower the noise is going to come through so let let the the noise blanker try to do its thing so just make very very small adjustments within the noise blanking slider and the EX control Okay, right there is a lot better, so I'm going to disable it. Okay, 
Μιλώ για τα τελευταία σαλπίσματα των οικειμένων στρατιωτών, για τα κουρέλια από τα γιορτινά μας φορέματα, για τα παιδιά μας που πουλάνε σιγάρα στις διαβάτες. Οκ, και αυτό ήταν με τη voice agrees. Λέτε να δούμε αν... Let's go for a DX station. Let's see if Radio New Zealand is up. Uh, they're a little bit on the weak side. Let's see if we can resolve audio. And that's with no noise blanking function enabled. And that's with the noise blanking enabled. Now it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than listening to this. So basically, I just wanted to show you guys that that is a feature that is an option available to you guys. It's not hardware specific. It's built into the software. It is within the RX control panel. Your two options here. Now, don't forget if it's an option that you enable, don't forget to disable it. And that's basically it. I'll see you guys in the next video and hopefully I'll see you with the noise completely gone. But I did want to share this option with you guys. 7-3 and I'll see you in the next one.